Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, let's solve the contest question, split two strings to make palindrome. And as I know, this is a phone interview question asked by, by Google. So let's take a closer look. The question statement. So we are given two strings, A and B of the same length, and we can choose an index and split both strings at the same index. So we can split A into two strings, which we denote an A prefix and A suffix, and split B into B prefix and B suffix as well. So we have to check either uh, A prefix plus B suffix, which is the concatenation of these two, two strings, or B prefix plus A suffix. Uh, either of one can form a palindrome. So for example three, we can split an A here and B here. So the uh, A prefix plus B prefix will be ULA, ALU, which is a palindrome. So for this case, we will return true. And notice here that the data size can go up to 10 to the power of five. So the algorithm has to do better than uh, square times complexity. And my initial thought to solve this question is to use like a brute force uh, solution. So just go through uh, the string and split the string into a prefix and a suffix at every index and then get the concatenated string and then check uh, if they are palindrome or, or not. But this solution, uh, reversing the string, will be big of n times complexity and is inside the for loop. So the overall uh, time complexity will be uh, square time. So we will get a TLE due to the data size. So we have to uh, think of a smarter way to solve this question. And an optimized way to solve this question is to use a greedy algorithm with two pointers. We will greedily take a, a prefix and b suffix or b prefix and a suffix as long as possible uh, if they are palindrome to each other. And when we reach to a point that uh, these two prefix and suffix, they are not palindrome, then we will check if the middle part of A and B is palindrome or not. So now let's look at the code. The code is pretty uh, short and clean. So there are three parts. The first part is a utility function to check if a string is palindrome or not. And the second part is the greedy and two pointers uh, algorithm. So we will define a left and right pointer and while left is smaller than right, and the two characters in A and B, uh, when they are the same, we'll just keep moving the left and right pointer. And when we reach the, to the point that the characters are not the same, then we will check if the middle uh, part of A or B, if they are palindrome or, or not. So we will run this check uh, for A, B, or B, B, A, these two cases. Now let's see the code in action. Here is an example with some modification of example three in the question statement. So the left pointer will point to the first letter in string A and the right pointer will point to the last letter in string B. So at the beginning, we will check if these two letters, uh, if they are the same and they are the same, so we will keep moving the left and right pointer. Next letter is L, they are still the same, so we'll just keep moving. And here is A in both strings, so still good. And next is uh, G in string A and T in string B, so they are not the same. And we can see here that the prefix in A is uh, ULA and the suffix in B is uh, ALU, so they are palindrome to each other. So next we have to check if uh, either 
the middle part in A or the middle part in B if they are palindrome or not. If one of them is a uh, palindrome, then we just we can just cut that string and concatenate to the suffix of the other string to make the combined string a palindrome. So in this case, uh, GGG is a palindrome. So we will uh, concatenate the prefix of A to suffix of B. So the concatenated uh, string is a palindrome. So we will return true for this case. Finally, let's review. Because of the data size of this question, the brute force uh, na naive approach doesn't work. And we have to use an optimized algorithm, which is a greedy algorithm with two pointers. We will greedily take uh, A prefix and B suffix or B prefix A suffix as uh, long as possible if they are palindrome. And then we will check if the middle part of A or B is palindrome or not. And the time complexity of this approach is uh, constant time, big O of n. Space complexity is constant since we are not using additional data structure. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.